They'll run it now, out of the gun. And look out, a big hit to the shoulder pads took him right off his feet. That'll make it fourth down after a loss of one. Gerald McCoy is so slippery and elusive in the interior of the defense. I don't care who has the assignment. Wow, good They usually yeah. end up having to take at least yards. And now that he's playing a Thursday night game short week, you know he spent a lot of time in the trainer's room in the cold tub trying to get his legs back for this game. The first carry here for Jaquez Rogers. And on this one, he'll get to the 15, right at the 15-yard line. Five yards is the pickup there as that extends this drive. They were not fooling around at all, were they? Second and short, and they brought out the heavy package. Almost like the super heavy package against that defense, didn't it? I, mean, I don't think they expected that much beef up front, and they turned into an easy first down conversion. Throwing now is Brady. The quick slant caught. The numbers for Evans a week ago, comfortably up over 100 yards when cruising past that number and two touchdowns. How'd you like to be the D coordinator this week? He watched that game last week, and I know his first thought was, we have to find a way to take him out of the game. Wow, we cannot good and job. Evans calls it in. Touchdown, Bucks. Mike Evans, his ninth touchdown of the season. And the Bucks have taken a first quarter lead. I do believe we came here to see a game, didn't we? And it looks like he's running what we call routes. That played to his resume reel because he went to the Pro Bowl last year. That's how you go to the Pro Bowl. You make plays like that, big-time penetration, and throw people for losses. It'll be a Patriot first down on a pickup of 16. First down, Newton. And it's caught here, Amendola. 20. And all the way in. Touchdown, New England. Danny Amendola, his third touchdown now on the year. And the Pats able to cash in for six. And on that one, able to catch it, also able to have the wherewithal to take it in for the time. We were able to get in there and influence the throw. Down he goes. Sacked at the 10. David Harris in there to get him for his second sack of the night. When you're this close to the goal line, you've got to expect pressure from the defense. So the ball's got to come out fast. Got to get out of his hands quicker. To throw, it's Brady. That almost intercepted. Would have been a huge pick in the end zone. But as it stands, that brings up fourth. Quarterbacking 101. Never force the ball into double coverage. Especially not this close to the goal line. Wow, the are so tight. You saw on the play there, second down. Defense able to get there, swarm to the football. Zilch, zero, not of there for the offense draws. Yeah, there really was an example of good team defense, was it? Everyone handled their Deion Lewis. He's at the 50. Oh, no. Touchdown on the year. And the Patriots are able to strike quickly for six. Well called, well blocked, and then he just made a great play. That was an eight right now. Oh, the coach is trending right now. All right, there's no <laughs> doubt about it. People wonder what that decision was. But it takes me back to a number of years ago. A very successful coach in the league had told himself before a playoff game he was going to be aggressive. No matter what, he's going to be aggressive. And it ran his team into some real problems early. And they got upset in that playoff game. Let's see if this team can recover. Well, that's aggressive in capital letters with glitter. Seven underscore. I mean, that's that's the definition of aggressive. Yeah, you can almost hear the cheerleaders doing the be aggressive chant behind him. <laughs> and he listened to it. All right, say it with me now. A lot of different words we come up with. Maybe we go back and forth after that play. Get his toes tapped down to make that catch. Crafty. Yep. Wiley. Oh, definitely. A man for the Patriot touchdown. Julian Edelman, his second touchdown on the season. And the Patriots add on to their lead. And in the red zone, I guess this is why you have a guy like that on your roster. Without a doubt, if you have him, 
You use him because he's a guy who's going to win just about every time. I don't care what the coverage is. And he put Out come the Buccaneers. They'll have it first to start in the third quarter. They're sort of seeing themselves spiral out of control. Let's see if they can get things back on track. And this is where the coach is walking that line of being calm and really being firm with his team. Had one tell me once, you know, when we're having a tough patch, this too shall pass, this too shall pass. And it finally kept having a rough patch. He said, but you've got to do something <laughs> to make it pass. And that's what they have to do. They've got to get some control back, get themselves reasserted, and calm things down. See if they can get calm and reassert themselves here. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Evans. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. They give him 14 yards that time and a fresh set of downs. On first down, Brady. From the left side, it's complete. And he's going to get this inside the 30. Another nice gain, 16 yards there and a first down again. Fifth catch of the game for him there. Yeah, and the tight end position is now becoming a volume pass catcher. It used to be occasional, right, safety valve. Throw one to him every so often, but more, mainly they want him out there to block. Nowadays, an integral part of the passing game, and they create such great mismatches that they often become the leading receiver. They get 10 more there, and I believe that'll be enough for another first down at will. And now inside the red zone, the offense will operate. Into the red zone, it's Brady. This is caught, Gronkowski. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Rob Gronkowski, his third touchdown now on the year. And the Bucs are able to make this a close game again. He's got it, and it's 24-17. On first down, it's Newton. And he's got some space here. And he'll avoid the tackle there with a slide. Another big hitter there. This one good for 18. Red zone opportunity. From the red zone now, Newton. And he slides to avoid the hit. It's a gain of five. And that'll make it second down. of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. It'll be a loss of a yard, and they're going to face a third down. From our vantage point, that was just one bad play by the offensive line in a series of really good ones tonight, but I know that they're going to be really good. And he's he's in. The now, Patriots. Danny Amendola. Continue to go in that direction. So the run gets them the first, and now they operate with a fresh set of downs. Now a play fake here on first down. And it pops free. The collision Bruh. there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. Let's face it, if you want to get back into the game, these are the kind of throws you've got to hit. He's wide open right there. Got to be able to get it to him, don't you think? And those are the throws that haven't been available to them every time he's dropped a pass. Yeah, that's a big miss. And this one caught by Cameron Bray. And he's going to get this inside the 30. A nice pick up there of 11 yards, and it'll move the sticks. That throw has to be a quarterback's dream, doesn't it? Big tight end, curling in the middle of the field, so it's great sight lines for him. And when they show their numbers back to the quarterback, when they sit down right there, that should be pitch and catch. Over the middle, and it's incomplete. Gronkowski, the intended target, and now it's second down. If you're a defender, one of the fun things about playing zone defenses, especially in today's football, is that it's not as static as it was in the good old days, meaning you just dropped to a point and reacted to the football. Now you end up with a lot of man-to-man -man principles once you get into your zone defense. In other words, get to your assignment and then locate a guy coming into your area, and then you end up covering him almost man for man. That allows him to make more plays on the football like the one we just saw there. 
one of the selling points of the in route is it gives the quarterback a really nice sight line to his receiver and almost on a direct shot, able to throw the ball into the middle of the field and have a great chance of success as they did on that play. Just a gain of a couple, but good enough to keep the drive rolling. I like his focus there because he wasn't thinking about breaking that one big. All he thought about was, I need one. Let's go get that. Ended up picking up two. Brady now to throw. Over the middle, that's taken in by Gronkowski. And he's able to work it here to the eight-yard line. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. Seeing that play and understanding just how tough it is to cover tight ends, especially the ones running around the NFL nowadays, makes me glad I didn't make it in that league. I would have had a really difficult time. But now you get to sit up here with me. Yeah, and that's fun, isn't it? And what a really nice game right there on first down. Back now in Tampa. It's Buccaneer football, but they've got work to do. They find themselves behind here to start the fourth quarter. They come out with one back and three tight ends. Thank you, Papa. Calls it in. Touchdown, Bucks. Mike Evans, his tenth touchdown of the season, second of the game, and the Bucks have made this a one-score game. I know Paul Revere talked about by land or by sea, right? You know. You've run through it. You probably got some help even from the wide receivers who want to catch passes as opposed to block, but they're helping out too. Yeah, everyone's pitching in. He's had a good game. They try again with Lewis. He finds an opening past the 40. Deion Lewis, 30, 10, and all the way in. Touchdown, New England. Deion Lewis with his second touchdown of the game and fifth on the year. And the Patriots add on to their lead. And those are the highlight real runs you dream of right there. When he gets a seam and just gets through. Really nice play, be able to stack that one up. When they get back in the huddle, he's got to, he's got to tell his guys up front, great job. They kept people off of him, allowed him to run free and make the hit on the runner. And filled the gap nicely, kept him to just a one-yard gain. And Brady gonna be intercepted a third time. Run. And that one will pretty much erase any hopes of a fourth quarter comeback. With emphasis. Interception, return for touchdown. Don't they? And here's the thing. You already probably have three points in your hip pocket. You force a throw here and give up an interception, you come away with nothing. Especially tough in the middle third of the field where he threw that one. Wow! Good job! Yeah. Maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. But Charles, it's one thing to win. I thought you were winning. Boy, were they clicking on offense. They can't help but feel great about themselves, can they? I mean, what a game to put up that number of points, continually feel like they're moving the ball and things are...